Hello, this is Heisenberg. Hey there, this is G Forever, and we got the Prime One Studio Godzilla Bus from Godzilla vs. Kong to review. Oh boy, it looks like it came in two very big boxes, G Forever. That's true, all the way from Hong Kong. So let's go and open them up. And we got a gift from Prime One Studio. So our thanks for Prime One Studio for sending us this beautiful um, sample for us to review. Yeah, it says Prime One store exclusive bonus item inside. So you're going to want to see that. So stay tuned. That's mm -hmm. if you buy it directly from Prime One Studio. Yep. And then look and... look at this nice, nicely, uh, very sa safely shipped. Yeah, lots of protection. You can see the corners are protected. The top has a nice styrofoam cover. And same with the all four sides. Yep. Yeah, nice plastic bag to keep the rain off. And oh, here's the box. What do you think? Beautiful box. Yes. Um, so yeah, if we see the, the box art right there, that's actually a photo of the actual bust. So it's not a uh, screenshot from the movie, but it did. They did a great job using uh, like the similar lighting to uh, get that simulate the Hong Kong uh, battle theme. Yeah, nice looking box. Again, I yeah. was there in person. I, I'm the, I was behind the camera shooting this, mm -hmm. so I got to see it all. And yeah, very good looking box. Yeah, and this looks like an image of uh, the two buses together. So you can see there, they do have a Kong bus coming out. And they have several other um, Godzilla versus Kong uh, items on the way, such as that amazing diorama um, oh, yeah. with Godzilla and Kong in Hong Kong. There's also a Kong bus, a, uh, I guess like a full-sized battle axe. And they just recently announced an 87 centimeter um, gigantic master, museum master line uh, Godzilla. So. Yeah, they don't talk about it on the website yet, but we have a video of it. Mm. So if you go to our YouTube channel, uh, you can see. Yeah, it, we, you can see it there. Yeah, Godzilla yep. versus Kong, and it's numbered. So again, yeah. 1,500 of these, and we got number 716. It says mm -hmm. LS stands for life size bust. They have yep. a whole series of life size bust statues. It says GVK for Godzilla versus, Godzilla versus Kong. Kong. And O1 and... is probably the first in the series. Um, yep. We don't really know what S stands for, but maybe series. Yeah, if you know what S stands for, let let us know. Yeah, and there's also the upcoming uh, Mecha Godzilla, so we forgot oh, to mention yeah. that. So make sure stay tuned for that. So again, nice styrofoam hey. box. Says Prime yeah. Studio. It says top on one side. It says bottom on the other. Yeah, yeah, there's a little Prime One Studio logo on it. Uh huh. But, yeah, so we got top and we got the bottom, so you know how to open it. Yep. So yep. So you place the bottom onto the table or where or whatever you're, however you're opening it, and we open the top up by removing the tape. And look, it's nicely wrapped with this. Um, what do you call this? Uh, some sort paper. of uh, paper. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, very cool. So, uh, yeah, okay, right. so it's a very a little snug. So I had to help out. Yeah, you should yeah. have two people. Two people should work on this. I think it's better yes. than one person. Yes. So it was That's very snug tight, which is great. It's nice and protected. And uh, this is box one. So if box one is the um, the base. And when we, what we're going to see is such a beautiful base. So let's try that. Yeah, I think this, this is out. the best uh, base I've seen for a Godzilla statue. Yes. Yeah, and this is very, certainly the, there's the most, yeah, this yeah. has the most going on of any Godzilla base that I've seen. There, okay. there it is. Yay. Yeah. Polystone. Polystone, which is like basically resin and stone mixed together. So yep. again, now heavier, heavier than vinyl, more detailed than vinyl, uh, more fragile, but this actually doesn't seem fragile to me. It seems uh, very solid. It's, it's very solid. And look at the detail. Um, we're going to be zooming in to look nope. at all the different sets but before nope. that nice surprise. check out the bottom oh yeah, yeah yeah also numbered also numbered on the bottom yeah nice handwriting too yeah so. yeah yeah it's i think the handwriting could it's a little style <laughs> it could be a little better okay the handwriting could be a little better, i like it it's distinctive there yeah it's so, got yeah. It's, it's got the enthusiasm yeah and this this artwork here reminds me of the uh the art book from uh, for Godzilla versus Kong, for, like the cover from the art book. So yeah, yeah, very nice looking. Yeah, nice and, hieroglyphics. Yep. All right, so now we're gonna look at. It's nice. It's not all one color, so it's mostly mm. gray. But you've got sort of like it looks almost looks like a what is it like a little pinkish something or a little yeah. reddish, a little green, uh -huh. maybe a little yeah. rust, kind of a rust color. Rust color, some algae. Yeah. Yeah, this is 4K. This is a 4K video, so so fire this up on your big 4K screen. Mm -hmm. And it's also color balanced, so you're getting a very accurate view of what the colors are. 
Yeah. So yeah, thanks to Heisenberg for bringing over his uh, awesome camera. And let's just check out all these details. So you can see that the uh, this is kind of the ancient city from the 2019 movie Godzilla: King of the Monsters, and uh, we can see the steps uh, that Sarazawa climbed up to um, meet uh, the injured Godzilla. And it looks like here is the button to turn turn the power on once we get the once we hook up all the wires. And if we look at all the details, you can see there. You know, we do notice this, there's some like broken columns and stuff that's this, um, that they uh, made into the the base just to kind of mimic like the the ruin, like the types, like the ruins. So it's all done. Yeah, I like the ruins. Yeah, I like it a lot too. And it's I love how it's so. Um, like a, it's a really nice uh, feature like on this base like it's not just a plain base but you know there's a, the base itself like I, if it was like a separate product i probably would have bought it um oh yeah you know i like yeah. you can see there's like all lots of little even uh the, there's like a little glimpse of even more uh like uh, carvings yeah like carvings yeah. along the face of course they're fate but they're faded you know with age mm -hmm. yes yeah there's like sun like sun symbol other other like hieroglyphic symbols uh, gives you that really ancient feel. And uh, because this is like similar to like the lost continent, um, you know, like similar to, uh, what was it? Similar to Atlantis, I guess that nice, uh, cool feeling. Yeah. yeah. You see a yeah, little man, little man there, but yeah, you yeah. can see that there's a lot of variation of color. Yes. So I think I would call it like kind of like a pink, like a pink mm -hmm. and, uh, and obviously a gray and a green green. Yeah. So I, I really like how there's like little little um, different types of paint on this. So it's not just a gray base. Yeah, there's but, little uh, specks too, yep. parts of it. Yep. Yep. Yeah, it looks like there's some worshippers. So it gives you that like yep. a god feel of Godzilla. Yeah, we're going to see. Here's the uh, top. Yeah, mm. and you're pointing out the magnets. There's like, because yes. there's going to be a little Godzilla statue that goes on here. And there's magnets yeah. to help keep them and There's the foot. You can place. sort of see the footprints and kind of like, Cracks from I guess when Godzilla is like walking on, on the this this area. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not yeah. going to get this from Playmates, Playmates <laughs> no. toys. So uh, yeah, this is very very special. So here's yes. the bigger box, box B, okay. two of two. Yeah, also it's also numbered, numbered seven hundred sixteen out of fifteen hundred. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, what else does this it is, say this there? Is the big, it says it has the a... bonus item. The uh -huh. bonus items in here, and again, polystone statue. And yeah, this is the bigger box. So as you see, it's like close to my, uh, like, as, you know, almost up to my waist. And we can see um, all, all around the, how big it is. <laughs> yeah, the corners, but yeah, the corners protected with styrofoam, the sides protected. Yep. Again, another big, another plastic bag. And, yeah. and again, different, uh, yeah, sort of like similar, but different box. Yeah, the Even box bigger. is, yeah. yeah, bigger and it's different. Um, like different colors and all and this is kind of like that daytime scene uh at the end of the movie where godzilla kind of uh, walks away um after fighting mecha godzilla and here's another shot yeah yeah let me give you some facts while we're looking at the box so you, so you can buy this directly from prime one studio and that's how you get the bonus item so we'll put a link in our description to where you can buy it from them uh you can also buy it for, for example from sideshow uh we can put a link to them and other retailers sell it Mm -hmm. And uh, it's at least I limited to fifteen hundred pieces. Sells for one thousand six hundred dollars. You're getting quite a bit here for you are, for that money. yeah. In, uh, and it's in big. The we'll detail. talk about this. Yep. And once it's all put together, it weighs fifty-two pounds. Mm. And uh, it, uh, as you're going to see, it lights up. So we'll see. And it's made of polystone. And oh yeah, so other things. Yeah, but mean, yeah, it for, comes with some yeah. instructions. Yeah, for the price, like you're getting a, a high quality statue and tons of detail. So it's, um, I think every, you know, every uh, penny is, uh, is, you know, worth it for this guy. Yeah, it lights up too, as we'll see. So stay tuned yes. for that. Yep. So here's the instructions. So kind of tells you what's in the box and how to, how to take it out and how to piece it together. Yeah, not too complicated. But yep. yeah, you, but it does say use two people. And uh, yeah, you should have two people to do it. Yes, and one thing we noticed, this does not come with a uh, USB AC adapter. So yeah, the cord basically. The cord. Yeah, yeah. It, does, it doesn't come with the cord to plug it in, so you got to provide the cord. Mm -hmm. uh, G Forever had one handy, luckily. Luckily, yeah, and I think it takes a USB C. 
So yeah. that's yeah. So that's my only zonk on this uh, statue. That you know, I kind of wish it came with a cord, but it's not. It's not too hard to f- to find a USB C uh, cord nowadays. So you can jump on Amazon, eBay, or maybe even your local electronics store like Best Buy. Yeah, we found one. the top. This big box mm-hmm. also says top and bottom, so you know how to, yeah. how to place it before you open it up. And it is nicely sealed. I edited out the fact that it's all sealed up with tape. So oh, G forever okay. has yep. his scissors. That's why he has his scissors there. <laughs> here we go. Yeah. Here's the big. Here it is. It's underneath more paper. More paper and some uh, disinfectant gels. And we're to, gonna start uh, to see it. Yeah, I mean, you can already see the nice, uh, you know, detailed. All like if Godzilla was like a suit, you can actually see all like the like the scales and everything already. But yeah, yeah, this I mean, was a, I think this would yeah. So basically, this is kind of like suit size, but I think even for a mm-hmm. suit, it, this seems it seems big to me. Pretty ma- pretty massive. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that would be it. Would be a very big suit. Yep. Yeah, the well, legendary monster vs. Godzilla is very big. So. <laughs> Yeah, there it is. Yay. So yeah, safely yeah. packaged. So okay, here's yep. the bonus item. Uh, we'll see. Okay, it's let's a, try to get what, it out. They call it, what's it going to be? A what's name the bonus plate. item going to be? Yeah, it's a, what do they call it here? I got it written down. Yep, Godzilla versus Kong nameplate. Yeah, Godzilla versus Kong logo nameplate. And again, you get this by directing, buying it directly from, from Prime One Studio on their website. Yeah, uh, if you buy it from Sideshow, you don't get the nameplate. Yeah, so oh, yeah, yeah, check out. Yeah, so grab that link from uh, the description in the video, so you can. So make this sure is also polystone, don't you think? It is. It's pretty heavy. Yeah, and pretty the, much matches matches yep. the rest of it well. Yep, and it's a nice shine to it, so you can, you know, depending on where you put it, if you have some light shining on it, it has a nice glow. Here's the mini this. Godzilla. Yeah, yeah, full, yeah, full Godzilla. Yeah, full figure, full figure. Mm-hmm. Uh, looks like this is also polystone. Yeah, and we'll and we'll like uh, be zooming in on this more later too. Yeah. So this will sit on top of the um, on the stairs. So and, and yeah, a few the... pieces of the bust. Yeah, a few people pieces of the bust uh, yep. came separate. So we'll we'll put those on uh, shortly. Yep. Yeah, but they look pretty nice because they're kind of like the, um, I guess re- like a religious style um, type of statue. Uh, with Godzilla heads. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks, uh, yeah, it really looks ancient. Mm. Okay, so now we got a, like you said, it lights up. So, so you got, there's a cord, there's a cord yep. to attach. And this was the, uh, yeah, so, so attaching it is fine. But like, uh, this, the one, this, this actually made me a little nervous when we were putting the, uh, Godzilla on the base, because I didn't want the, uh, like I didn't want to rest it on the cord, mm, so as yep. you'll see, so there's so G Forever is picking up uh, uh, Godzilla, yep, and I'm and gonna try to like make sure that guide the wire, the wire. yeah, I'm gonna try to guide the wire so it doesn't all get yep. smashed and yeah, and try so, to yeah, put it as you see, I'm not doing a very hole. good job so far, <laughs> and try to make sure it stays like stays in the hole there, yeah, and so yeah, I wish this were a little easier to do. I wish it was like kind of like on some sort of tension or something where it would mm. like like retract automatically. I see. Uh, yeah, but uh, so I think we got it. Oh, and yeah. then when we set it down, it didn't. It didn't sit. Like I said, we we tried it twice to sort of try to make sure. It doesn't. It didn't sit com- uh, like one hundred percent all the way down. There was like uh, mm. like see you can see the like the right on oh, on looking on the right side of the screen it's down all the way. See on the left side of the screen it was like a little just a hair bit of a gap. Mm. So and I think that was sort of, but I don't think it was the wire. So yeah, mm-hmm. it looks fine. But it's like that's one thing. There was like just a real slight little uh, wobble there. Yeah, my guess is oh. that they left a little spacing, so you can actually like if you wanted to move it uh, and take it take it off. I think right and have it like like snug tight, like what like what it was in the box. You know that could have give it some um, some moving room. But that's just my thinking, and I think it's fine because most likely you're not going to be uh, moving it too much. It's kind of you're going to find a spot for it and put it there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not not an issue. Yeah. But uh, yeah, look at this guy. So big. Yeah. And once the again, detail not, is superb. Yeah. Not one color. It's like it's also got sort of like browns, like mm-hmm. kind of browns and uh, grays. Oh, yeah. And then you're yeah. pointing out where you plug it in. Yeah. I think the yeah the outlet's well hidden. Yes, it is. Yeah. But we're not lighting it up yet. You got to stay tuned. Stay tuned mm-hmm. to see it lit up. Yeah. Just pointing that out. We're saving there. that for later. 
But look at how uh, de the depth of it too, like from the yeah. tip of his nose to the back. Yep. It's like got it. So yeah, so it's basically about 30 inches tall, but 28 inches deep. Mm -hmm. uh, so very deep. Yep. And then uh, about 18 inches wide. And check and out the, the back. Yeah. Oh yeah. And there's so much. And it's, yeah, you can, it's, there's stuff going on 360 degrees all the way around it. Yeah. So it'd be so nice to like display it where you can like walk around the whole thing. Yeah. And I, I love it. Like, even if it wasn't, if, it, even if it wasn't a bus, like this, this, um, uh, display with the base and the little Godzilla and the cave, um, what do you call it? Cave. Oh uh, yeah. But now these are the extra stuff. little pieces cool. Chief Forever yep. just put in. Yep. Oh, very cool. And again, the Godzilla is removable, so you could like, yeah, so you could you could take that Godzilla out if you wanted. You could put yeah, somebody you, put something else in there if you felt like yeah, it. Yeah, some people put the monster arts. You can even put a Playmates in there <laughs> or a NECA figure or something. Yeah, you can definitely swap swap it out with something yeah. else. So as I said, I think this is the best uh, base I've seen for a Godzilla bust. Agreed. Uh, yeah, this this base is so intricate and lots of detail. And it's just so cool because it's so unique to... Um, to uh, the 2019 movie, which is so iconic for Godzilla. And this yes. makes it a perfect base because, you know, you're featuring uh, this huge bust of Godzilla and that really makes that presence like. <laughs> yeah, well, I think it's just a uh, like, cool looking monster. But here's Definitely. something you're not going to see anywhere else. Uh, this is the, what is it? XM Studios yeah. GBK bust. And this yeah. is the prototype. GMK. GMK. Yep. Okay. I'm too excited. Uh, <laughs> this is the uh, prototype that was on yes. display at New York Comic Con. Mm -hmm. So the final shipping product might be a little different. Yep. Uh, but yeah, they loaned us and then they, uh, uh, XM Studios loaned us the uh, uh, this bust. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have a video of that too. So check that video out. Definitely. But yeah, yeah. So these are both polystone busts yeah. uh, from two different uh, manufacturers. And yeah, yep. two different, so you get to see, compare here. Yep. And both are excellent quality. And, you know, I can't say which one I like better because if you like the more classic design, you know, XM Studios nailed it out of the park. But if you're looking for the best looking monster verse legendary Godzilla, I think Prime One Studios got it. And, you know, if you look at the detail on both statues, it's just remarkable. I'm just so oh, yeah. we're so we're living in such a, uh, you know, such a great time. Oh, yeah. period. It's interesting. They took they took opposite approaches to the base. Mm -hmm. uh so so xm studios has a minimal base that yep. that really just kind of like you know just kind of disappears and in, into the you know mm -hmm. it doesn't attract attention at all and mm -hmm. i think that's also a, a great way to, a great choice yep. just to have a minimal base and that where you just focus on the on, on the godzilla bus, himself right? yeah so i think uh, so i think both these choices are great i think it's yeah, yeah you want one or the other i think the, uh -huh. yeah one extreme or the other i think it's both both is the way to go yeah but it's interesting it's 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 cool how uh side by side how these are sort of like very distinct approaches to uh mm -hmm. very distinct designs of godzilla yes yeah and yeah the, and we can see on xm it's like a clean cut whereas um prime one they they molded it in like kind of uh like behind the base is that uh, behind the, the bus is actually part of the whole um, diorama, I guess you would say. But yeah, again, uh, both incredible statues and great representations of uh, the two versions of Godzilla. Yeah, both of these, again, we're looking at them nose on here, but they both have great depth too. Like, mm -hmm. I think they look really good from the side. I think I think they look better from like the side or from an angle than from uh -huh. like straight on like and this. Straight on, yeah. Yeah. They still look yeah. good, just you know, definitely on the side, the profile looks uh, looks better. Yeah, but yeah, oh, I yeah. mean, they yep. they really look great. I'm I'm loving both statues and really thankful for um, you know being in, you know being able to uh, see both of them in person. But yeah, pointing out the texture here, texture yes. on the like on the the neck. There's a lot going on. Yeah, yeah, and they both have color. So we see, we notice the XM GMK Godzilla also has a little bit of green, and yep. the Prime One has a lot of earth tone colors. And then even more, here's the shin. This is also yeah. XM Studios bust. Yep. Also, this is also the uh, prototype on display at New York Comic Con, mm -hmm. which we had on loan from XM Studios. Yes. So yeah, here we go, Shin Godzilla. So here I've got them. Yeah, again, even more distinct. Again, they're both mm -hmm. Godzilla, but very different uh, designs. Very diff yeah, you can definitely tell like the designs are completely different. But it is Godzilla, just a you know, just a different look. Oh yeah, yeah. So so uh, oh yeah, but uh, lots of teeth, lots of teeth. Lot, uh, no yeah. shin there. Yep. Yeah. Both really high quality. 
so and, yeah so yeah, we this... also re again we showed uh, shin here in a video already so mm -hmm. check out that video definitely oh now we look he's lit up so yeah like said, as we, as it's promised, the light he lights up so it's the spikes and the eyes and then the mouth a little yes. bit too yep and the light is beautiful like it, it really you know captures look at this like in the dark yeah, yeah there's, just, there's oh, his eye there's his you can eye even see mouth. the pupil yep so yeah prime one did not disappoint no and one... i'm so glad yep go ahead yeah well one thing it doesn't notice it doesn't go all the way up to the tip like i'll turn the light on and off so you can mm. see so it's mostly sort of like towards uh more towards the, the inside part yeah. of the uh, spikes it doesn't go all the way up to the tip but mm -hmm. that's sort of that's not not too unexpected yeah i think most yeah i think that's one it's probably one thing they could have improved on but otherwise it still looked great like the the light up it really has like that really um charging up feel just like the movie yeah, and also like the lava lights up too down here yeah that's really cool just like the so, movie as well like i said you got the eyes the mouth and the lava there's the eyes mm. yeah what's nice yeah. though it, it really it uh looks good either way with the lights like with the lights on or off they did a good Definitely. job yeah that even if that if you the light if it's not lit up it still looks uh, excellent you wouldn't even yes. notice anything yeah. out of the ordinary exactly yeah, let's do a little turn here so you can see what it looks like. It's very bright light, so you can see how it's lighting up, um, lighting up my uh, me as well. Yeah, our camera had no trouble. It's yeah, nice, nice and bright. And then yep. here's again, here's a little statue. Let's compare one. it, compare it to the Playmates. Yep. Here's the uh, heat ray uh, Godzilla from Playmates. Mm -hmm. There we go. Yeah, one of my favorites. So it looks like they're about the same scale. Yep. Yeah, like the, like, the prime one is a little hunched over, whereas the playmates is standing upright, more upright. Yeah, but, but I think it's lots of detail so, on the prime one, of course. Yeah, yeah. So here we go, and again, also uh, not not all one solid color. They've got it yeah. sort of like a rust kind yeah, of. Yeah, like I would say like color on the inside. I would say earthy tone, like Earth it has tone, a lot of yeah. yeah, very like a natural, um, like animal animalistic uh, beast. Oh yeah, yeah. So that, Every inch is covered yeah, in and, detail. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They got the spikes. Spikes nicely done. So I think his mouth is kind of like closed. Yep. And uh, yeah, they gave him a little bit of an eye there. Yeah, you can see the eye definitely. Here's his claws. Yeah, it's a nice looking uh, mini statue for its size. Oh yeah, yeah. And again, so like I said, you're getting a lot for your uh, for your, like I said, the whole thing's one thousand six hundred dollars. So you're getting quite a bit. You're actually getting the bust, the bust, the base, and this little guy, and this yeah. uh, little Godzilla, all in uh, polystone. Yeah, lots of detail. So yeah, okay. I think it's a it's a great it's a great um, great package because uh, you're really getting everything. And also the light up effect is excellent. Probably the best, one of the best light up effects I've yeah. seen. So let's do the size comparison again. Here's the playmates. Sure. Here's the playmates. Here's the bus. There's the bus. Quite uh oh yeah, and there's G Forever. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, quite the difference. Quite the difference in size here. Yep. Yeah, oh, very cool. Oh oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I think G Forever approves. <laughs> I do. All right, so there we have it, the Prime Home Studio Godzilla bus. So what are your final thoughts, Heisenberg? Big, very big, very big <laughs> and impressive. If you want the biggest and the best Godzilla MonsterVerse statue, I think this is the thing you want to get. But also check out the Prime One Studio 87 centimeter uh, full figure yep. that they're working on. So again, you can find out about that on their website. We'll put a link to their website, mm -hmm. link to their YouTube. And we talked about it ourselves on our YouTube yeah. channel, so also yep. check that out. Yep, the gigantic master line, which is going to be even bigger than this one. So, yeah, they keep getting bigger. <laughs> yeah, keep getting bigger, keep getting better. So, very glad. <laughs> Thanks quality. again. And once again, this is a, a free sample yep. provided to us by uh, Prime One Studio. So yeah. our thanks to them. Huge thanks to Prime One. This is a very impressive piece. Oh, absolutely. All right, this is Heisenberg. And G Forever, hoping you enjoy the Prime One Studio Godzilla bus from Godzilla vs. Kong.